Hello everyone, I'm Yannis Kalafatis and together we'll see how to make Gemista or Gemista. Uh, it translates into something that is stuffed. Uh, obviously we're, we're uh, cooking, so <laughs> that means a vegetable stuffed with something and is one of the most popular slash traditional dishes in Greece. We've, we have already explained the reason behind and the philosophy of Greek cooking uh, through the Mediterranean uh, cuisine series that we've got, that we break it down and we talked about it, um, about the simplicity of food. And also we recently uploaded a video on to 10 tricks on how to become a better home cook. Yeah, make sure you go watch it and get some ideas. Let's have a look. So these will be our ingredients for today. Uh, here you will notice some fresh herbs and as I said it's very important you go see our tricks that, uh, the tricks that I give you on how to become better because one of them will be to have some live herbs uh, from pots. It literally makes a huge difference onto the flavor, right? So, um, now this recipe can vary. Uh, the last thing and then we start, I promise. Uh, you can stuff different vegetables. Uh, today I will be skipping aubergine and courgette or zucchini. Um, and I will be using just peppers, onions and tomatoes. You can get creative with it, but I will just keep it simple. Now first thing will be to give a wash to our potatoes. We will fill it up with water and I will give it a wash. And at the same time we are going to be washing our rice. Uh, when you're choosing rice for gemista, make sure you get medium grain rice. Uh, in Greece we call it glacé, glacé, but in the UK you'll find it from Middle Eastern shops. Uh, and mostly uh, Egyptian brands have it, medium grained rice. So we will leave it running a bit there. Now, at the meaning time, make sure you have a, a, ga a, a tray that can feed your vegetables, depending how much you do. Um, you can put a baking paper or one of those mats. We're just gonna cut them into halves, like that, and put them into the tray for now. Okay, our potatoes done. That will go onto the side. Now we'll need two things, one will be our mix that we're gonna cook and stuff our vegetables with and the other one will be the vegetables that we're gonna prepare them and leave them on the tray. Uh, one thing you gotta pay attention, the vegetables must be similar size uh, and thickness and all the stuff. The more precise you get the better the outcome will come after the cooking. Now, we will need a small knife for this job. Now, the smaller ones, we can keep them for um, the mix. So, we're gonna cut them as we would. Cut around the seeds, so it's no mess. Now I've got some spring onion baby licks here, feel free to use a big one if you want, a uh, baby lick. And carrots I forgot to buy, so don't do the same, I'm gonna wash those. Uh, <laughs> now for the tomatoes, we're gonna remove the green part, and then we're gonna cut across. Some people say it's easier if you cut the bottom as a lid, but I'll just do as I know. And here we're gonna actually cut first with our knife. Be careful you don't pierce the bottom, and then we're gonna get the rest with the help of a teaspoon. Spoon all the seeds out, make a bit of space. Don't go very thin because it's gonna collapse. 
for now. Uh, but that's the main idea of it. Yeah, I'll be like that. And I'm gonna put it back on. Let's take it onto the tray. All right, I bought some extra tomatoes which we're gonna chop for the food. Tomato dance as well, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, finally actually no, we're just gonna cross the garlic again, maybe rip it apart a bit, add it into the bowl unless you wanna eat it. And now finally will be onion. I chose red because they tend to get sweet once um they're cooked now very important part here you you, you want to remove a little bit uh, from the stock the bottom root whatever you want to call it because otherwise it's gonna fall apart so we're gonna cut a little bit of the top now we will definitely need the help of a knife um so if I, if you have kept the top completely <laughs> i mean for me it's gonna be a little bit open but I don't mind um, but we can cut this as a lid. The idea is you're gonna keep like three layers to cut around. <sighs> and then this will be as best as we can do it. Maybe you can go more, but I don't wanna make it too thin. We'll place back the lid, but just falling apart a bit. And there you go. Okay, we have finished our onions as well. Now we're gonna chop what's left from the inside. I mean, roughly. Last thing we'll, be in, we'll need will be our herbs. I've put some mint and coriander. Coriander only because my plant is dying, so I had to use it. Otherwise I wouldn't uh, add some. So I'm gonna go ahead and chop some thinly. A bit of deal. And lastly, parsley. Uh, it's up to you if you want to remove the stock or not. I'm not going to. Here is everything we need. We're finally ready to begin. For you, it will be only a few minutes. For me, it's been about half an hour, 20 minutes. I'm not sure, it's been a while. Uh, here's everything. Here's all our veg that we prepped as well. We're gonna stuff them soon, so you will see it. Now, what we'll have to do is get ready with 400 grams of water and a big pan with a lot of olive oil. Here you go, about four tablespoons, and we'll go max heat for now. Now, while we're waiting for the pan to be hot, we'll switch on our oven to fan 180 degrees. Okay, our oil is hot, so we'll go in with a veg. And especially when you're using corsets and aubergine, it's very important that you get so much filling that it's quite nice. Wow. 
When they get a bit translucent, soft, we're gonna add our rice in. And we're gonna mix. Now when this is hot enough, we're gonna deglaze with some white wine. And then we'll add our tomato paste. Mix everything. Now here, if we had added carrots, maybe we wouldn't need to add sugar, but we will need to, otherwise it will be quite sour. Now we'll go with our tomato sin. And then we'll add our water. And we will leave it to cook for about five to six minutes. Okay, so it's been more than eight minutes. So it still has a little bit of water, which for this case we want. Uh, it's not very wet, it's quite dry, which is something that we also want. But we don't want to cook uh, fully, it still holds a bit. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna transfer into a bowl. And now we're gonna add about two tablespoons of olive oil. And about a hundred ml of water. Cold water. And we'll mix. Now we're gonna season it quickly with a good amount of salt, pepper, and our herbs gonna give it a good mix we'll get our tablespoon and we'll start filling our veg you don't want to go all the way on top you want to leave a gap push it down Now my grandmother, my yaya, my yaya would normally do some dolmades, the stuffed wine leaves that we have seen before, uh, if she had any spare mix. Today I'll not be doing it to keep it, keep it a bit simple. Oh and that's it. Now we're gonna go with a lot of olive oil around. A little bit of salt for vegetables as well. Next we'll cover with tin foil. Squeeze well, and now we'll go in the oven for about 60 minutes. We need to remove the tin foil. Yeah, so these have cooked, you can see them already soft and nice. Um, what we need to do is leave it uncovered to for the water to evaporate, and then we'll have a nice uh, uh, juicy result. Alright, 
ladies and gentlemen, here we are. <laughs> and that's the result. Uh, it takes a little bit of time, but it's worth uh, waiting. is is beautiful. Um, you could have roasted or uh, cooked a little bit the potatoes into a pan to give a little bit of color, but this is the way that my grandmother has been doing it. Uh, straight and then they're soft and nice in the oil let me know what you think down below in the comments uh any feedback or how you do it if you have cooked up before yeah thanks so much for watching uh don't forget uh follow recipe which will be the link in the description and as you're down there click the red button to join our beautiful family and press the like button to Post this uh, algorithm. Other than that, uh, have a beautiful day. Bye.